Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am going to bring you a low cost pressure transducer for in cylinder waveform analysis in automotive diagnosis. Already we know we can find lot of videos in YouTube for this kind of cheap pressure transducers. I was also using that kind of low cost pressure transducer for in cylinder pressure analysis introduced by a YouTube video. But I found this transducer which I am going to introduce today giving us a much better quality and much detailed waveform for in cylinder pressure analysis. So I would like to introduce this new low cost pressure transducer for you guys. I am going to test this new pressure transducer with the HS502 oscilloscope and Picoscope 2000 series 2 channel oscilloscope. Here already I have taken a in cylinder pressure waveform with this low cost pressure transducer. This is with the HS502 oscilloscope and HCOP software. You can see on the blue trace we get much better quality and more detailed waveform for in cylinder pressure. Here red trace is a ignition trigger signal as a sync channel. Look how decent that waveform. Ok let's turn into the picoscope. Let's zoom in the waveform and take a closer look. Do you see how quality waveform has been given by this cheap pressure transducer? Actually I haven't seen such a quality waveform with other cheap eBay pressure transducers. Especially with budget oscilloscope like this Picoscope 2000 series. Then what is the difference of this pressure transducer? I found this transducer is a bit different than the other low cost eBay pressure transducers. The main difference I found on this pressure transducer is ceramic sensor has been used to make this pressure transducer. Always I have seen this ceramic pressure sensors gave us a quality waveform with bit more high resolution than other cheap pressure transducers which we found on eBay or online market. And next thing is low response delay is another advantage of this pressure transducers than other low cost eBay pressure transducers. You can find various pressure ranges on this pressure transducer according to your needs. I bought a 300 psi G sensor here. Ok I will put the shop link in the description. Let's go to the field test and we'll check how will be the setup and real time waveform. Ok, I have set up the pressure transducer here to get the in cylinder pressure waveform. And then simply I used car mobile phone charger to supply 5 volt power into the pressure transducer. I used same car battery for the power supply. This is a 3 cylinder car and I hooked up the pressure transducer into the number 1 cylinder and get the trigger signal of number 1 ignition coil as the sync channel. Everything is ready, let's take the waveform. First I am going to take the waveform with this HS502 oscilloscope and HCOP software. Set up the screen with the sampling rate and voltage scale first. Ok, crank the engine and let it to be idle. Stop the engine and let's take a closer look into the waveform. HS502 oscilloscope is 12 bit vertical resolution supported oscilloscope. So definitely we should have a better waveform on this in cylinder pressure waveform. Look at this, we have much much better and detailed in cylinder pressure waveform. But still you can see blocky look on the compression towers. So I am going to add a low pass filter here. For that I am going to put the rulers top and bottom of the waveform. Because I need to make sure that we are not going to lose any data while applying a low pass filter. Just go to the filter settings of number 1 channel and then I leave the frequency as 1000 Hz. And then I am going to apply the filter, sorry, uh, I should apply the low pass filter here. Look at this, we have very nice waveform now, no more blocky compression towers. 
and still waveform is lying between the two rulers that indicate we haven't lost any data while we applying a low pass filter. So we would have a very nice and detailed in cylinder pressure waveform on HS502 oscilloscope with the 1000 Hz low pass filter. Now we can apply 720 degrees rulers layout and analyze the in cylinder pressure waveform. Ok, let's take the waveform with the Picoscope 2000 series next. Already I have tested various settings on the Picoscope for this in cylinder pressure waveform. But I will show you what are the best settings for take in cylinder pressure waveform with this Pico 2000 series oscilloscope. The most important setting is select the 12 bit resolution on the channel which you have connected the pressure transducer. I take this opportunity to remind you that this cheap pressure transducer which we are introducing today is giving us a better and quality waveform with 12-bit resolution supported oscilloscope. If you are using 8-bit vertical resolution supported oscilloscope such as Hantec, please don't buy this cheap pressure transducer for in cylinder pressure analysis. Ok, screen setup done on the picoscope, so let's crank the engine and take the waveform. Zoom in the waveform and adjust the scale to see the compression towers closely. Do you see we have good looking and detailed in cylinder waveform with the picoscope too. Sometimes you can see ignition trigger signal also stay close to the TDC. Anyway, I try to measure the actual response delay of this pressure transducer using the sync channel of ignition trigger signal. I found the actual ignition timing on the scan data and it was around 6 to 8 degrees before top dead center at the idle. So put the rulers on the actual angle and the reported angle on the waveform. Then I found 1.7 millisecond response delay on this waveform. I did the same test on the H scope. It was 1.9 millisecond response delay on that waveform. So analyzing these two waveforms, what I believe this transducer has 2 millisecond response delay. But this response delay is a not a big deal for taking in cylinder pressure and analyze them for valve timing, compression or mechanical faults in an engine. So, Hope this video will help you to choose a better and low cost pressure transducer for in cylinder pressure analysis. But I remind you again don't buy this cheap pressure transducer if you are using 8 bit vertical resolution oscilloscope. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us for more informative videos.